Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new, it's your first time visiting us, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My name is Sean Drill, I'm a real estate broker here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And boy, oh boy, I've got a great community to share with you all today. Now, today we're gonna to be at the Estates of Sugar Creek. This is a new community out in Indian land, South Carolina. And let me tell you something, prepare to be amazed. The homes out here are absolutely incredible. Now, in this community, we've got homes or homes that are going to have anywhere from three to six bedrooms, two and a half baths, really two, up to five and a half bathrooms, up to 5,100 square feet, two car garage. In some cases, you can modify and get a three car garage and one and three to three story homes. Guys, listen, the community is located at 2118 Indigo Branch Road. If you go out there without me, please tell my guy, Chris Sharkey, that Sean, Gerald, and Charlotte sent you to the neighborhood. Now, let me tell you a bit about this neighborhood here. So the Estates of Sugar Creek is a new community located off of Harrisburg Road in Indian Land, South Carolina. Now it features one ranch and then five two-story floor plans. You got easy access back to I-77, I-485, Highway 521, and close proximity to Ballantyne. As a matter of fact, about seven minutes or so, you'll be back in Ballantyne. You even get close proximity to Pineville and, and, and be able to go to the mall over there as well. So, I mean, you got easy access, great convenience, restaurants, you name it. Now, I live up in the university area here in Charlotte. Took me roughly, I would say about 35 minutes to get to the community from where I live. So that means from one side of Charlotte out to South Carolina in about 35 minutes. And this is with morning traffic on I-77 before I hit I-45. So listen, whether you're moving to Charlotte in nine days or moving to the area in nine days or nine months, we would love to assist you. Please give me a call at 704-340-3822. Now, if you forget that, you can look below. My information is gonna be in the description box. Give me a call, we're at your service. Let's get to the video. So in this video, we're just going to jump right across the border into South Carolina in a community called Indian Land, South Carolina. Bumps up to Fort Mill. Here we are right here. Okay, I'm going to let me grab my tool right here. You can actually see the North and South Carolina border. All right, let me get my pencil. Okay, and then look, check this out. Right there is the South Carolina border. So we are literally on the border but we're going to spend our time mostly in this area right here in an area called sugar creek so right here you've got two great communities three great communities one coming up as a matter of fact you've got the estates of sugar creek by taylor morrison directly across the street you've got a new community called the pines at sugar creek this one is going to be built by toll brothers and then right down the street literally right here and this area we see that number two You've got a new townhome community coming by Taylor Morrison as well. So we've got a lot of activity going on just across the border. Now, you've all heard of Ballantyne. Okay, Ballantyne is right there. You literally leave this neighborhood, hit this road, and you're going to be in Ballantyne in about seven minutes or so. You've got Piper Glen. You can make your way out to Weddington, Marvin, where you've got huge lots, huge homes. Okay, just a great area. Wesley Chapel. Okay, so easy drive back into Charlotte. You got Pineville right here. We've got Matthews on our map right here. And of course, here is Uptown Charlotte right here. Okay, so from Uptown Charlotte to get out here to this area here in Indian Land, you're talking about a 25 to 30 minute drive because, again, literally, it's just across the border. We've also got a mall right here. So let me see if I can get the satellite view and get you a picture of the mall right here. We've got a huge mall here called Carolina Place Mall. Let me see if I can find it on our map. I believe it must be right in here. Let's see. Let's see if we click on that if it tells us what we got here. No, it doesn't. But Carolina Place Mall is literally right here in this area across the border, okay? So is that is that it? No, that God, no, that's Park Road way over there. But you've got a mall, trust me. You've got a mall, folks, like right here, minutes away from this community. Lots of shopping, restaurants, you name it. Easy access back to I-45. So the way that I got here coming in from Charlotte is I jumped on I-77. 
Okay, right here, I-77 got on I-45, drove probably two miles or so, jumped off, and I was literally in this community in South Carolina once I got off the interstate, probably seven minutes or so. So easy drive out here, lots of new construction going on. Again, several new communities that we've got popping up. You can see it's called cleared out right here too. We've got homes out here, guys. Look at this, $721,000. This is gonna be at the Pines, 55 in community, four bedroom, three and a half bath, 2,700 square feet. Let me tell you, amenities galore in this neighborhood. And again, directly across the street, you've got the Telemorrison neighborhood. So again, just wanted to show you where we were on the map, give you guys an idea what's going to be right around you. Again, Valentine. Everybody loves Valentine. All my New Yorkers out there probably saw my video. We got a Wegmans coming out in the Valentine area. So if you're right here in South Carolina, okay, you can get to the Wegmans new grocery store coming over in Valentine in minutes. All right. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. I'll be right back. All right, family. So we just jumped in the car. We are leaving the basically the university area. We're in zip code 28262. And now we're going to make our way down towards Ballantyne. We're going to head down I-85, jump on I-77, and then head out towards Ballantyne. But we're actually going to cross over into Indian land, South Carolina, via 485. Now we're going to pass a great mall over here, guys, a Carolina Place Mall, some other shops here off of 51. And we're going to end up at the estates at Sugar Creek. Great community by Taylor Morrison, just getting started. Prices are fantastic, great location, and better taxes as well because you're right across the border over into South Carolina. But you still have access to everybody's favorite, Ballantyne. Uh, you're still right there, you know, Pineville Matthews area off of Highway 51. Going to be a great video, great location. We're going to look at two great model homes as well. Uh, stay tuned, I'll be right back. Let's go get it. to three tenths of an acre for some of the ones that are on the corners. Okay. 20 by 20 structure mm -hmm. in the center. Mm -hmm. um, we do have HOA private streets. So okay. If it's a pothole, the HOA will take care of it. Okay. $100 a month covers uh, trash, recycling, HOA, we, we have everything set up through okay. AMS. So okay. Set up and Got it. Over. Got it. Um, 69 cent for the tax rate here on the Seth Value. Okay. Harrisburg for elementary and then Indian Land Intermediate Middle and High. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let me ask you here. So, what's our lot premium on this basement lot right here? 100 grand. 100 grand on that one. Okay. It's going to be realistically 130 mm -hmm. to 140. Okay. The way they can leverage their offer mm -hmm. on the free side mm -hmm. off the record, mm -hmm. bump the deposit. Mm -hmm. I'm taking 85,000 at contract. Mm -hmm. Five grand at Design Center. Okay. If I had an offer last month that was about ten grand less, mm -hmm. but they were putting down one hundred and twenty-five thousand for the deposit. Mm -hmm. So for us, kind of like you guys do diligence, right? Mm -hmm. For us, you're not going to leave one hundred twenty-five grand. Mm -hmm. so right. We'll take a, sometimes a lower. All right, guys. So we're going to go inside the London floor plan. This house is amazing. Now the square footage you're going to see here today, guys, is right around thirty-two hundred square feet. It can go up to right around 3,800 square feet by adding on to this home, the third story. And you even have an option of doing this home with a basement as well too. Now, as we're gonna see this home right now, you can get in beginning starting price point right around 850,000. Love this bonus room right here. Got those French doors, I love that. We've got 10 foot ceilings down here too, which is awesome. 
And you've got all the great touches in here as well. Here we go. Got our chair rail right there. I love that. The wainscoting. Very decked out dining room right here. This is great. And it is so wide open right here too, guys. Let's see here, closet space. What do we have here? All right, well, look at this, nice storage. This does bank all the way around too to give you some space underneath. And then right here, we've got another closet right there. So you've got a ton of storage in this home. And this, now guys, this is a very large bathroom. Now, your bathroom on this home doesn't have to be as large as this. They do have to be ADA compliant in the model homes. But you do have a powder room there, all right? And then we make our way into this beautiful, wide open, do I see Hershey's Kisses? Oh boy, I love Hershey's Kisses. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, here we go, guys. Beautiful, beautifully decorated, wide open. Again, this is the London floor plan. As you see this home again, guys, beginning price right around $850,000. Now this one does not come standard with this bump out for this eat-in section right here, okay? Doesn't come standard with the screened-in back porch rack here either. So these are things you can add on to this home, but this is really beautiful, really beautiful. Now, we did find that also that they are pretty much sold out for 2024 and yeah it is only april at the time of the shooting of this video they do have two lots left one of them is a basement lot you do have a premium on that lot of about a hundred thousand dollars maybe a little bit more if you get into a multiple offer situation and they got one other lot as well pretty flat too that you can get into it also does have a lot premium as well but outside of that they're going to start selling again sometime late may for 2025 completions. But as you can see, this home is absolutely beautiful. Love the gourmet kitchen, massive island right here. This is great. Here we go. This one does have a bedroom on the main level as well. Here's our pantry, look at that, love it. So we do have a bedroom here too. Nice mother-in-law suite. I do love that. Mom, you know you can come live with us anytime you want. You and George, let's get it. All right, here we go. Love this bathroom. Look, look at the tile here on the floor too, guys. I love this. I love the way that looks. Very nice. All right. And these ceilings, I know you can't tell, but these ceilings are high, guys. They are high. All right, we're gonna make our way up to the second floor. Hope you're enjoying this home so far. Oops, I was going the wrong way there, but we're gonna make our way upstairs. We had our assistant over there, I'm not sure if you saw her. But let's go upstairs real quick. Now we get here to the second floor. We've got a nice, loft area right here here we go this is really cool nice and cozy and it's wide open right here too look at this i mean you can see everything we do have a bedroom right behind us let's check this out here we go and this one does have an ensuite too pretty nice go and then they got a nice closet there who's going to be fighting over this room which one of your family members huh to get that bathroom we're going to go down this way here get our laundry room here i absolutely love taylor morrison guys they build an incredible home at a very fair price you even have upstairs on the second floor nine foot ceilings I believe we're at 10 feet downstairs, nine feet up. You can't beat that. Most builders are gonna take that away from you on the second floor and typically get you an eight foot ceiling, but not here. Here 
Here we go. Now, why do I want to move into South Carolina? Lower taxes, better schools. You got the Homestead Act, as we discussed, okay? And of course, if you're a disabled veteran, you also have lots of perks as well. If you're at 100%, hey, guess what? Your tax benefit's gonna be fantastic. So just some reasons you may wanna cross the border. I mean, listen, I might as well be in Charlotte right now because we are literally just at the borderline of Charlotte. Ah, oh, here's your primary. Absolutely amazing. Look at all the space right here in between the nightstand and the wall, okay? Look at this. This is some fantastic space right here. This is a very, very large primary. Very large. And you know what? We walked out of that game room. I didn't even say anything about it, but the game room is really nice. Then you're gonna love this walk-in closet. Look at this. Lots of space right here. That's awesome. And then, here you go. Large and in charge, baby. Good Lord have mercy. What a primary bathroom we've got right here. Look at all this space. And I love them. This tub is huge. Huge soaker tub right there. And then look at your shower. Oh my God. Look at this. That thing is gleaming. Tile all the way to the ceiling right here. Look at that. Got a nice bench right here for you to sit down. That's great. I just love the shower. I love it. I do. Taylor Morrison did a great job on this home, guys. I'm sure you all agree. And this tub, geez. Listen, I'm a pretty big boy, but I think I could fit in here myself. This is awesome. All right, guys, this is the Landon floor plan. Again, you can actually build this in a basement home or you can add a third floor to this home as well, guys, all right? Listen, call me if you wanna know more about this plan. We're gonna go next door. Take a look at the next model. It is a ranch style with a bonus upstairs. And I tell you what, you're gonna love it as well too, guys. Listen, let's go get it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're gonna walk into the Whitmore floor plan now. This is a ranch style home, but it's got a nice surprise up on the second level. And I think you're gonna really be amazed at this home. Now, square footage on this home is right at 3,200 square feet. At its base model, right around 3,000 square feet. Priced, as we're gonna see it today, just under $780,000. Prepare to be amazed, guys. The Whitmore 2 is gonna blow your mind. Let's go inside and take a look. Here we go. As soon as we make our way in, immediately you're greeted by this nice dining area. And then check this out too, guys. We got a nice tray ceiling up top. I do love that as well. Very, very spacious. And then we make our way here, guys. Got a nice bedroom right here on our main level. Now these ceilings are 10 feet tall, okay? This is a very, very high ceiling. But you got a nice bedroom right here. We come across, we've got another very, very generous bedroom right here for you. I mean, I just love these high ceilings too. Then of course, you can't have these two bedrooms without having a full bathroom right here. Here you go. Toe Brothers really did a good job out here. We're gonna make our way now into our living space. And immediately we're greeted by a massive island. My goodness, I love this. Again, we got that gourmet kitchen going. Here we go, beautiful. What an amazing floor plan this Whitmore is, guys. Again, as we're gonna see it today, 3,200 square feet, priced just under 780,000. This one does have a bonus room on the second level, but your main living quarters are gonna be right downstairs. Look at these tall cabinets too. Gas cooktop. Here we go. 
Love it. And they did a two-tone cabinet right here too. Check this out. So you've got white on this side right here. And then on this side right here, we've got that nice coffee color right there. It's beautiful. Of course, we love, always love our double loving microwave setup and right there. Making too. our way out of the that. kitchen area. We're gonna walk right into a lovely space to eat right here. Listen, this floor plan is wide open. I do love that. Love the sitting area right here too. Living room space, entertainment space, family room, you name it. Just wide open. Love the fireplace and I love the fact that you can see through the two, well, right into the sunroom from this space. Speaking of sunroom, let's go inside. And this home, has this amazing space. Now this is an add-on. This is where you get in that additional 200 square feet right here. But this is an amazing sunroom on this home. Look at this, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's go back here guys and take a look at our primary bedroom. Before we do that though, look at this large laundry room. My God, that's amazing. Here we go. And here is our primary. Now, this home does have four bedrooms. It may have five. You know what? There may be one upstairs. We're gonna go up there and take a look. But this primary bedroom is also very, very large. Look at this. What a beautiful home. I'm telling you right now, listen, to drive across the border, guys, for better taxes and great schools, you can't beat it. The price points are amazing. Lots of amenities. Minutes from Valentine. Listen, what a great location. This bathroom is beautiful too. Look at this. Look at this spa shower. My God, tile everywhere. Look at that, all the way to the ceiling. Look at this. This is a beauty. Woo! Love it, love it, love it. Got our bench down here. Oh yeah, that's a nice shower there. And of course, we make our way here into our primary closet. All right, here you go. Large and in charge. Listen, this house is also stunning. I never really thought about living in a ranch style home. I've always lived in two story homes, but as I get older, listen, the idea of not having to deal with steps becomes very pleasing to my mind, okay? It does. Here's our fourth bedroom down here. They've got to set up like an office, but that is definitely a bedroom. Let's run upstairs here real quick and see what we've got on our second level. I know we're going to have a loft space. Here we go. Indeed we do. Look at this. Nice and spacious. Look at that. Beautiful. Got a full bathroom I see in you. We got a bedroom up here too. It's an amazing plan. I love it. Look at this. This is a big room too. My goodness. And then here we go. Full bathroom here too. Got a nice shower there. I'll probably make this my office space. Look at this. Absolutely love it. And then right back into our loft. Guys, listen, you can't beat these homes. High ceilings, wide open floor plans, lots of bedrooms, bedrooms on the main level, convenience, location, price, you name it. Good, clean, fresh air. Feels like you're out in the country, but you're not. I absolutely love the estates of Sugar Creek, and you will too. You know what to do, give me a call, 704-340-3822. Let's talk about getting you in a new construction home sometime this year or sometime next year. Sean Gerald, guys, with Lifestyle International Realty. Can't wait to talk to you. Let's go get it. Let's take a ride through this 55 and up neighborhood real quick. Let's just see what they're doing. I hear they've already sold 25 homes in this neighborhood already, and they don't even have a, a, a model home out here just yet. This is called the Pines at Sugar Creek by Toll Brothers. Let's take a ride through and see what they've got for us. I do see already they're gonna have a nice clubhouse. That thing said world-class back there. Luxury community. The exterior of these homes do feel a little bit like some of the floor plans we see over at Griffith Lakes in Charlotte. But it does look like they're gonna have some brick on some of these homes too. It looks like it's gonna be a large neighborhood. If it's anything like Griffith Lakes and you're gonna have pickleball, tennis courts, walking trails, 
you know, all the good stuff that you're going to be looking for in a community for 55 and up. But again, they don't have a model home out here just yet and I've already sold, my goodness, 25 homes. Looks like our model is down this way. Let's go drive by real quick and see what they've got down here. We might even be able to get out and take a quick look. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like they've got two model homes down here too. Yeah, we do. Yeah, the Tahoma. So yeah, you know what? These are the plans that we see over at Griffith Lakes. Same name, the Mallard Elite, okay? Model is gonna be opening soon there. And this one here is called William. But some of these are actually open. Let's go ahead and walk through real quick and take a look and see what Toll Brothers is gonna be doing down here. So we're gonna do our best to stay out of the way of these kind folks down here working on Saturday, but I do want to take a look at this William floor plan. Here we go. This is going to be a beauty. I can tell you now the difference already in Griffith Lakes and what we're seeing here. Okay, is they do have brick on the exterior of this home. Now you can't tell because it's painted white, but you've got brick out here. And of course you've got that wonderful James Hardy siding, some good old Hardy board. We make our way into the front door. Yep, got hardwood floors here. Let's see here, got a nice, look at this decorative touch on the wall already. Okay, Toll Brothers is amazing too, guys. Here we go. This is directly across the street from the community we just left by Taylor Morrison. All right, here we go. Let me look how wide this foyer is, guys. This is wide. Now, of course, we don't have any lights in here just yet. Look what they're doing to this bathroom. Man, I wish we had some lights on it so you could see this tile. Oh, you can see it, look at that. Look at this. Toll Brothers is not afraid to be different. That I can tell you. Got another bedroom here. Got 10 foot ceilings, of course, in here as well. Oh boy, look at this kitchen. My goodness. It's gonna have the wood beams on the ceiling up here. This is awesome. How you doing, man? Wow. What an amazing home. Look at this. And they're doing all the treatments in here too. Look at this kitchen, my God. This is gonna be amazing. Again, this is a 55 and up neighborhood, guys, by Toll Brothers. This again is the William floor plan. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at all the decorative touches they're putting in here too. I can't wait to come back and see this home finished. Oh boy, look at the laundry room too. Here we go does have a two-car garage, and right now they're gonna use that as, oh, look at this backyard, jeez. They're gonna use that as their office space initially. Here's our primary bedroom. Man, what are they doing in here? Good Lord. Look at this. Look at all these windows. You know, if I could just convince my wife to let's move into one of these neighborhoods, man, my goodness. I'm not 55 yet, but you know what? We're getting on up there. Look at, look at the shower. Good Lord have mercy. Jeez. Incredible. I do love if we've got a sink on this side and you've got another sink on this side, kind of keep us out of the way of each other. Got hardwoods inside of our closet here too. Here we go. What a beautiful home, friends. What a beautiful home. Toad Brothers is definitely one of my favorite builders. Absolutely love working with them. Let's take a look though at this. Look, look at this over by the fireplace. So you've got an electric fireplace here, which is awesome. But then you've got these built-ins on each side too, with these windows. This is amazing. But this backyard, woohoo, my God. Look at this. What are we doing back here? What are you doing, Toll Brothers? What is this? Got a fireplace here. Got a covered entertainment section right here. This is stunning. Oh my God, that's gonna be a kitchen area right there. Man, the William floor plan, okay. This is huge, okay? You can even screen this thing in if you want to. Have that fireplace going. Look, you got lights up top up here. Let me show you here real quick. We got lights up here as well. My friends, this is gonna be a stunning home when they're done. Oh my God. 
Cannot wait to get back down here and share it with you. Again, we're talking about the William floor plan, Taylor Morris, and here's your, oh, oh look at this. Here's an office space right here. Look at this right here with these built-ins. This is incredible. That's amazing, French doors. Oh yeah. I tell you what, it's gonna make it really hard for people to buy regular homes because what they're doing these 55 and up neighborhoods, guys, is absolutely incredible. Again, we've got the William floor plan right here, guys. Right here at the Pines at Sugar Creek, directly across the street from the new community by Taylor Morrison called the Estates at Sugar Creek. We've got another floor plan we're gonna take a look at here real quick. Let's see what the Tahoma is giving down here in Indian Land, South Carolina. Let's go inside, guys. I already see they've got another one, another great outdoor living space on this home too. Oh my goodness. Here we go. So of course you got your garage there. Okay. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to go inside. Let's go see what we got here. All right, here we go. Look at what they've done to the ceiling in this one. Got built-ins here. Got a full bathroom right here. Tile all the way to the ceiling, look at that. Got another bedroom right here. Hmm, that's an interesting touch right there with those types of lights in here. I like that. This one also has a, a bathroom in it, full bathroom here too. They're giving you that tile all the way to the ceiling too, guys, over here. This is great. All right, let's see what we got here for the rest of our home. Okay, got a nice, this is gonna be a huge bonus upstairs. We'll go up there in moments. Let's see what we got down here. Okay, this is the start of our kitchen area, butler's pantry right here. We don't have any light out here, of course, just yet because they are still building these homes. But boy, to get in and get a first-hand look at this space is amazing. It is so pretty. My goodness, all the decorative touches. <laughs> the backyard, oh my God. Look at this right here, family. Amazing. I love it. We don't have prices just yet. Well, I don't have prices, somebody does. I'm gonna get those for you though. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. This home is amazing. Look at these touches throughout. Listen, we may do this in our home right away. I love that. Just dresses everything up. Got our fireplace right here too. Love it. And look at, <laughs> listen. I can't do anything but laugh. This backyard is incredible. Oh my goodness. I mean, listen, in this backyard already, guys, we probably got fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 back here already, okay? Look at this, you're gonna have a, a gas fire pit right there. Outstanding. You know, I like coming to model homes too, man, to get ideas. And so you've got two ways to get out here, right there, and of course, right here. Let's go in our primary bedroom. Let's see what we got here. My guys are here having a party too, so please forgive the music in the background. They're having a party. I know it got pretty loud. Look at this bathroom. My goodness. I hope that you guys can get a feel for what I'm seeing right here because this is incredible. Look at this. The Pines at Sugar Creek, Toll Brothers, bringing you another amazing community, my friends. My goodness. All right, guys, we're gonna head out of here now. All right, guys, so we're gonna make our way upstairs now to the second floor. Let's just see what this loft area up here looks like. Exactly what I thought it would be, amazing. Very large. And of course, we do have a full bathroom up here. My guys are having a party downstairs, but it's pretty loud. I'm sorry about that. All right, here we go. And then here's another bedroom on this level. I just love it. Love, love, love this floor plan. Guys, again, this is the top floor plan. You can get this floor plan also at Griffith Lakes in Charlotte as well. 
but you don't have that backyard, okay? You don't have some of the decorative treatments you see in here as well too. Even all the way down, look at this. Look at the way they did. If you can see this here real quick, hold on. The camera's following me, hold on one second. Let's see here. I haven't seen this at Griffith Lakes just yet. Now I'm sure when you go to showroom, you probably can get these added, but not just as a standard feature inside of the model home. We don't have those, but guys, listen, give me a call, 704-340-3822. Let's talk about getting you in a 55 and up neighborhood if that floats your boat, all right? Let's get it. Listen, we're gonna drive down the road now and go see the ridge at Sugar Creek, that new townhome community by Taylor Morrison. I'll be right back, let's get it. Now it makes sense to me, friends, why it is that they sold 25 of these homes before even having a model home open because they're gonna be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to get back down here and show you the finished product. I believe we're gonna have an amazing community. So it looks like this is where our amenity center is gonna be. Let's take a look at the board real quick. Gonna have a great looking swimming pool right there. Looks like the inside of our amenity center gonna be freaking awesome look at this look at what that thing's gonna look like that's gonna be smoking goodness gracious now if I sell you one of these you gotta invite me back over all right family so we are now leaving the estates of Sugar Creek and we're gonna drive just down the road to another brand new community that's gonna be built by Taylor Morrison called Ridge at Sugar Creek. These are gonna to be townhomes. All right, we've got four different plans they're gonna have. They're gonna have some master down plans and some two or dual master plans as well too. I know a lot of you guys really like that style of home from we did that video with, Tim, with Mattamy Homes, I should say, back in the day with that home called the Frazier. So Taylor Morrison is getting into the game and they're gonna also bring us a dual master plan home. I cannot wait, or master bedroom home, primary bedroom home, let's call it. But I can't wait guys to get into it. We'll be there momentarily. Let's go get it. All right guys, so now, I mean literally right down the block, we are now pulling into the ridge at Sugar Creek. Great town home community by Taylor Morrison. Again, we're gonna have some primary bedroom down plans over here. Four different plans, as a matter of fact. All right, so here guys, we can get an idea of what our front exterior elevation is gonna look like. Got some light stone, some light brickwork out here this is great gonna be a pretty big community too if i'm not mistaken i believe we're gonna have about 140 townhomes out here now if i know anything about taylor morrison these townhomes are going to look amazing if it's any indication of what they did down the street at the estates at sugar creek with the interiors with the high ceilings some of the finishes these are going to look equally amazing. And the great part about it with a townhome, of course, you are going to have all of the bells and whistles done for you. Lawn maintenance, exterior, you know, the roof and everything should be covered on the outside of the home by the HOA. So it should be pretty maintenance free for you. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. We're again in Indian Land, South Carolina, where you've got low taxes and great schools. Give me a call. Let's go. Friends, we're wrapping up our tour here in Indian Land, and I had to drive to this one last community. This is a gated community, but the gate was actually open for the first time that I've ever driven by. And I tell you, I was thoroughly impressed. Gated community, really, really large, lots, people outside walking. You had kids playing in the street. 
The homes were absolutely beautiful. If I had to take a wild guess because I didn't get a chance to check pricing while I was driving through, I wanted to be safe. But if I had to guess based on everything else around there, these homes are more than likely priced in the, in the middle 800s on up into the millions. And you're gonna see why as we drive through this community. But if you like something like this, they're building a new home right here as well. Call me, 704-340-3822. I hope you enjoyed the tour in Indian Land. It's an amazing city just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Great schools, low taxes, and I said it once more and I'll say it again. If you're a veteran or if you are 65 plus, you've got some great tax incentives that may be there for you in South Carolina. So give me a call. Can't wait to help you guys move to North or South Carolina. Hope you have a great day. Let's go get it. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.